Pakistan versus Australia. Wrestling versus BJJ. This one's going to be awesome. Let's go to Tom Lau. Of the flyweight World Grand Prix, who will be the first man through to the semi-final round? Will it be the former one flyweight world Wait, just, champion, Karen just, just Will it Ready? be the XSB Ready? and eternal Ooh. champion, Chris McLaren? McLaren bounds out of his corner, the Aussie in the blue. Hair and trunks matching tonight. BJJ McLaren wrestling with a three-time Greco-Roman wrestling champion, Karen Akhmatov. Of hunting for an early takedown. Nice knee to the midsection of Reese McLaren. First one to engage in the grapple. You can see Reese McLaren was able to turn the corner and shrug off Akhmedov. So much on the line. A place in the semi final round of a tournament that includes Demetrius Johnson, Yuya Wakamatsu, Danny King, and Sinzo Ikeda. If it's not obvious by now, you can see that Reese McLaren is out of the blue corner. You can tell. Nice knee there from Akhmatov, tries to pull the head down. Akhmatov, controlling Sinto K, generally the Kazakh. Flurry of punches, looping punches, and Reese just smiles at him. McLaren throws out a front kick, Akhmatov a looping right hand. McLaren throws out that punt kick off the back leg. The happy-go-lucky, almost Aussie larrikin attitude we see on Reese McLaren, Mitch, coming to the floor again here, all smiles in the opening round. Yeah, he definitely enjoys every minute of the competition. It's not just the competition, but it's been all week. He's been nothing but smiles, joking around, completely enjoys his job, loves every moment in there to finally get to do what he's been dreaming of, and that is compete inside the one championship cage. And who competed for the Bantamweight world title at one stage against Bibiano Fernandez came close, Mitch. And very close. It was a five-round thriller. And uh, Rich McLaren just came up on the negative side of that scorecard. But, you know, and that was in a completely different division. He took on the very best at Bantamweight. And now he's here at Flyweight. You call him the dark horse. But, man, next to Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who we get to see later tonight, I don't know if I, you know, give anybody else another, another number two sleeve. Probing jabs here from Akhmatov. Well, I'm sure fancies himself very highly in this tournament, being a former world champion. Akhmatov just gets out of the way as McLaren thought about throwing the right roundhouse kick. Halfway through the opening round, set for three by five. Front kick there from McLaren. Probing jabs from both men. Still a real filling out process. Switching starts now, McLaren to southpaw and back to orthodox. Medoff is doing pretty well here. He's not, you know, backing down at all. He's got two takedown attempts. He's been stopped, but he's, you know, showing definitely some aggression in this matchup. Akhmedov told us yesterday he's been training like a demon, harder than ever before. And look at the physique on him tonight, Mitch. He is ripped, stripped, and buffed. He put in an eight-week camp over there at Tiger Muay Thai in Phuket, and he's surrounded yeah. by some beasts out there. So he's definitely in shape for this matchup. Nice knee on the inside from Akhmedov. What's he looking to do here? The Greco-Roman National Wrestling Champion of Kazakhstan, three-time. Now, Greco-Roman is different than freestyle. They only have upper body attacks, so you can see he's very comfortable inside the clinch. He has a lot of throws, but now he's also able to change levels as well. So look for him to initiate that clinch, drop down, and go after the legs of McLaren. Chance to reach the semifinal round of the Flyweight World Grand Prix on the line here inside the sold out. Rio Goku Kokugi guarding oh. Big left hand drops McLaren from Karen Akhmatov. And the Aussie Lightning springs back to his feet. Yeah. Nice left hand thrown by Akhmedov as he's able to catch McLaren on the retreat. Oh, right looping punch there from Karen Akhmatov. McLaren better keep his arms up. He smiles at the former world champ. McLaren left hand down the tube out of Southpaw starts. Be careful of those looping punches. Jumping knee from Reese spills out the back door on his back now with the wrestling champion on top of him. Good control from Akhmedov to catch McLaren as he was going over his back, position himself, put his chest to chest, and score the takedown. Good job. You can see McLaren trying to attack off his guard right now. 
was looking for a possible armbar or triangle. Good job by Akhmedov to keep the composure, keep that top position. And a small cut just to the side of the right eye of Reese McLaren. Nothing too serious. And strikes to the top of Karen Akhmedov's head. Both feet on hips here from McLaren. Akhmedov looks to posture up and work that left hand. Final seconds of the opening round. We are going into the next dance. 20 minutes remains until our main show here inside the Rio Goku Koku Gikan in Tokyo. Second round of three, quarterfinal number one of the World right, Flyweight Grand Prix. Harad Akhmatov, the former flyweight champion in the white against Aussie Reese McLaren. Outside leg kick from McLaren. See, uh, McLaren has switched back, has switched stances. Now he's coming out of the southpaw stance. Nice little change of scenery for Akhmedov. Out of the entire card tonight, Mitch, I know you've been looking forward to this one almost the most. Yeah, this, this match jumped out at me immediately when I saw the Flyweight World Grand Prix brackets. This, this match is so closely contested because these guys have very similar, similar skill sets. One, Akhmedov is a you know world champion wrestler, and then we've got Reese McLaren, who is brilliant on the ground. He's able to mix things up so well with his takedowns. Here you can see he's trying to get that takedown on Akhmedov, but Akhmedov was able to catch the knee there and almost turn him around. Watch the head position of McLaren. Look how he's driving the head into Akhmedov to get him to make sure he stays in that side control position. Tries to thread the knee up high as Reese McLaren. Also in the Flyweight Grand Prix quarterfinals tonight, Danny King and Sinzo Ikeda. That's coming up next. And later on, the one championship debut of the greatest, Demetrius Johnson against Yuya Wakamatsu. McLaren breaks off, with the left hand, came close with that. Good job by Akhmedov to get that underhook on that side and create separation. Jab from McLaren. Looping punch from Akhmedov off the lead hand. Jab again from Aussie Reese. Miles up a cattle, both hands there from McLaren. Outside leg kick from Reese Lightning. McLaren's having more success out of the southpaw stands in the striking. Nice left hand again there from Akhmedov. He dropped McLaren with it in the opening round and it's got starch behind it. Little accidental finger Hi. poke to the eye there of Karad Akhmedov. How are you seeing the second round so far, Dragon? McLaren's having more success, and he's initiating a little bit more as far as the aggression is concerned. Uh, at this point, it's kind of a stalemate, but uh, you can definitely see from the previous round. Oh, man, oh, he touched him there with the left hand again. That left hand is finding range for Karen Akhmedov. Out of southpaw stance, being the power hand of the Kazakh. And once more, backs up Reese McLaren. McLaren's lead hand is low, which is allowing Akhmedov to come over the top and Time that left hand. Shoots in McLaren. Akhmatov spoils the party. Long reach on the jab there for McLaren. Fakes and then goes downstairs, McLaren. Superman punch fake to the low kick. Akhmatov looking very focused here tonight. Trying for a little knee on the inside. Up in the town there from McLaren. Jab two from the Aussie. Wild uppercut. Outside leg kick, there's the response from Akhmatov. Catches the jab, nicely done from Akhmatov and a high check. The counter's coming from Kairat. Reese goes first and then uh, Akhmatov is coming right back with shots. One minute 45, second round of three. One World Grand Prix flyweight quarterfinal. Who goes through to the semifinals first? Right hand, just missed the target there for McLaren. Akhmatov tries the counter off the right. It's on the exchange that Akhmedov is having success with that left hand. Takedown attempt, shrugged off. I got scraped in the eye. Oh. Maybe he didn't see it, pushes him on. McLaren threads the lead hand again. Akhmatov content to strike with the Aussie. Has the upper hand in the striking so far. Good lead hand there from McLaren. He's got the reach, that's evident, and he uses it there. That right, that right hand, that right jab of McLaren is beautiful. He's able to kind of extend his arm, turns his body, gets a little bit of extra inches out of it. 
Wild over hand left there from Karen Akhmatov. Under a minute remaining here in the second of three, Akhmatov runs in Kiai behind that last track. Good footwork. Watch how he keeps cutting the angles off of Reese. Reese keeps trying to circle out, and Akhmatov keeps, keeps his back against the cage by cutting off every angle that he gets. For the first time in this contest, you can hear the Kiai from Akhmatov in the late stages of the second round. Really starting to load up on these strikes and try and channel all his energy. Switch up the support leg. Can Akhmatov get McLaren on his back? No, McLaren onto his feet. Good job. Good job. McLaren to get back up to his feet. He's got the overhook, but he gives up his back. Now he's going to try to push his back up against the cage to avoid Akhmatov picking him up and trying to slam him. Two rounds down and one remaining. You're watching one championship in New Era. This is the quarterfinal number one of the World Flyweight Grand Prix. Stop, and it's coming down to the striking. And right now, Akhmedov is landing more significant shots. All right, man. Sold out inside the Rio Goku Goku Gigan in Tokyo for one championship in New Era. All right, ready? Ready? Reese McLaren and oh. Karen Akhmatov for a place in the semi-finals of the World Flyweight Grand Prix. Out suddenly kick from McLaren. Southpaw starts on both these men. Walk right hand there from McLaren. Orthodox starts on McLaren, goes the inside leg kick now. McLaren mixing in the feints. You can see he had some success in those first couple exchanges by creating those fakes, switching the left kicks, you know, throwing these little feints, just kind of give Akhmedov something else to think about so he's able to connect on shots. Now Akhmedov's going forward, landing big right hooks. Powerful right hands from Akhmedov. Nicely done for the former one flyweight world champion. Goes downstairs to the legs. You just feel that confidence flowing on the Kazakievich. It's confidence and aggression. That combined has given him the edge in every, almost a majority of the striking exchanges. Rich McLaren's trying to change things up. He's trying to find an answer to the Akhmedov aggression, but he can't. Thought about the high kick there, did Akhmedov. Drifts off to his right, McLaren goes a leg kick. Akhmedov tries to catch it, backs him up against the wire now. Nice controlled breast from McLaren. There's breathing under control. This is tough. Akhmedov's very strong inside the clinch. Tonight in our main card, four world title bouts, plus the debuts of Demetrius Johnson and Eddie Alvarez in one championship. And also Jonsson Clyde Fantex takes on Andy Sauer. A kickboxing rematch of 11 years in the making. We've also got three more flyweight world grand prix matchups. The entire quarterfinal matchups will be on display tonight and this is the first one who's gonna punch their ticket Jabs here. let's see if McLaren can put the foot down now under three minutes remaining third and final round left hand lead there being the cross of the south for McLaren goes down to the lead leg of Akhmatov Akhmatov tries to counter off the leg kick. Like those leg kicks from McLaren, that's three that unanswered that have been thrown by him. When was the last time, Mitch, that you did not see Reese McLaren stamp his authority in any way off the ground against McLaren? You know, and it's going to come from a, you know, a wrestling champion like Akhmatov. He's been able to control so many people on the ground and pick people apart. But this goes to show you the wrestling pedigree that Akhmedov has. Once again, the audience here in Tokyo, pit drop silence, the most respectful and educated martial arts fans on the planet. They are on the edge of their seats, they are studying, they are enjoying every technique thrown here. Like these leg kicks by McLaren, want to keep seeing him go to him. He's slowing down the movement of Akhmedov. Akhmedov's not able to move as well. He's not able to cut the corners as he was, but those leg kicks are slowing down Akhmedov. I kick there from Akhmedov. 140 remains. McLaren just guards up against the counter left hand from the Kazakh. So your finger, watch out. Just a warning there for Akhmedov. Be careful of the open fingers when throwing the punches. High knee there from the former flyweight world champion. 
counter left hand from Akhmatov. Just a little brick outhouse is Karen Akhmatov continually walking forward on McLaren. Hand punch combination again. McLaren trying to work some angles, watch a lateral movement, has a hold of a leg now. Let's see if he can secure this takedown. Akhmatov's got good single leg balance. You can see what was there went in between the legs on the foot, so it isolates the foot of Akhmatov, so he's not able to pull it out. Let's see if McLaren can turn this single into a double leg. Just glancing around this brilliant story career, story to a reader, I should say. So many luminaries here, cage side. And our own one world champions. You see there, Stan Fairtex, Martin Ewan, and Brandon Vera in the background. Oh, nice left hand. Smack back with a kiss up from Akhmatov. Backs up McLaren. And McLaren breaks off just back to center cage. Aaron shoots in for the double leg now. Akhmedov's gonna try to keep him up. He's got an underhook on the left side, and he's able to control the posture of McLaren. Good job from Akhmedov. Even Akhmedov was bothered by all the chatter that was surrounding Reese McLaren, calling him the dark horse. You know, maybe he felt I was being underrated. I'm not getting the respect I deserve. I'm a former champ. Very cerebral performance from Karen Akhmedov tonight. His striking has been on point, and we go down to the judges to decide who gets the first slot in the semi-final round of the Flyweight World Grand Prix. Wow, impressive performance from both these guys. Look at that show of respect. Reese McLaren raising the hand of Akhmedov. That might be a telltale sign that he feels he didn't quite do enough. Nice little exchange from Kairat Akhmedov as he marches forward, throwing those hands. Connecting, touching Reese McLaren, mid smile, hooks to the head of Reese McLaren. Brilliant performance from Kairat on Meta. How do you have it, folks? Wherever you're watching around the world, you have it for Kazakh, the former world's champion, Karen Akhmadov, or do you have it for the Aussie, Reese McLaren? Akhmadov all smiles here. Striking, look very sharp tonight. Let's go to Dom Lau. Find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Of is on his way. The former one.